Hey guys, it's Kelly Ann and it is a stitchy Saturday. I skipped yesterday because, well, I just wanted to. Um, so I have not done as much stitching again as I wanted to. Um, I'm trying to remember what all happened. So um, last Saturday, um, I decided also, my friend got Stella a toy that goes on the window. She's playing with it. So if you hear a noise in the background, that's what's happening. Um, anyways, last Saturday I decided to make a stack of smalls into pillows. The ones that like I've been planning to make them into pillows and things like that and like just didn't have, I don't want to say the energy. I just hadn't been wanting to do it to be quite honest. Um, so I sat down and I did that and the scissors actually gave me a blister inside of my thumb. Um, oh, the other thing, the cats are doing fine. The cats are doing fine. Um, this last week with work has been really busy and stressful. And so there were just some days that I was just mentally exhausted also because I'm about to um, start studying for a couple of tests and I'm going to be taking a couple of courses to try and um, change where I work. You aren't supposed to take that off of the window. You're, you're not supposed to take this off of the window. No, <laughs> you can't have this back. This goes on the window. Oh, don't cry. It's okay. I'll put it back after I record. Okay. So, um, I did that and then, I don't know. This week I've, I've stitched some. So, I have worked on two different things or three different things. I do have a finish. But I have like 23 FFOs. Stop! Oh my goodness. Stop! So, Stella has been getting into more things. She somehow jumped five and a half feet in the air and knocked a shot glass off of a shelf uh, this last week. She's um, getting on to, I've never, she's my seventh cat. I've never had a cat that liked to be on all the high things. So like, that's normally where I keep, you know, breakables and stuff. And um, she's figuring out how to get to them, even so small. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, I have to continue on with this video, but I have no idea what, yeah? what I told y'all she can't meow these are her sounds yes what's wrong okay so this week I have finished a stitch started a stitch worked on another FFO'd 23 things well they're mostly almost FFO'd. I need to put the little patch over the back. So I'll show you the backs of all the little pillows, but I still need to do the little patch, the little fabric patch. It's been a week. <laughs> it's been a week. Um, also, yesterday I had a, a day of time that was going to expire um, this next week. And so I asked off for yesterday and my boss said yes. And I realized that it was cut ups, which is like, um, our quilt guilds, uh, twice. Well, the second, fourth Friday of the month, um, they get together at the fabric shop and they sew all day. And so I ended up going to cut ups. I finished the, the 48 blocks that I had left and I was able to lay out my quilt and now it's in rows. So these are the different rows and the order that the blocks go in. So um, I might be today, again, not cross stitching, but putting together my quilt top because I want it so bad. 
and the back is going to be muslin. Our quilt shop has a 117 width muslin backing and I'll only need three and a half yards of it so I'll be able to get backing for a 104 by 114 quilt for less than 50 bucks which is amazing and um, then I just have to wait for a quilter also my friend Ashley she loves hexies she's going to make me a couple of hexy flowers like maybe like four to five of them that are going to be randomly placed on the back and that's where I'm going to write my quilt information on like the year that it was done my name what I'm naming it and all that kind of stuff are going to be in the center of the flowers and they're going to be muslin so I'm so excited about that um, and so that's going to be what the back looks like it's just gonna have like a couple little like random flowers with um, information inside of them um, and then I don't know like I want to start working on some of the little accent pillows and things that I want to make for this quilt because those I don't have to have quilted so anyways quilt quilt is getting put together this week so that's also gonna limit my stitching um, but I'm okay with that so let me talk about the whip that I got some work done on but not very much um, so I did work some on bygone stitches one nation and this is on 18 count murky from pictures plus so um, I finished up Indiana and I started Mississippi it's not a whole lot I'm aware the words do go really fast I just the day the two days that I attempted to work on this I was just having really hard like focus attention um, so that's kind of what happened with that the other one is my Brinninger Bay uh, with thy needle and thread small set red white and bloom and my uncle Sam that I started last week had to be restarted because whenever I cut off the other two for to make them into little pillows um, I didn't have enough room for him he, he um, I didn't have enough room left anymore so um, anyways so here he is and all of these are stitched on a 16 count picture this plus confetti crystal so there he is his little bees and he's holding his little uh, sunflower I think this one is called star and stripe salute I think is what this one is called and then I started red white and bloom this one I am going to get done this weekend and then I have one left in the set I have the little uh, watering can with the sunflower um, and the bald eagle so I just have to all that I have left is the white so um, I got to fill in their little heads and finish the word white and then this one will be done so that's super cute I'm so glad to be almost done with this set like really excited because they're just they're so adorable so I can't wait till the next set comes out I have no idea what that set will be about oh uh, in other exciting news the quilt is done being framed and my dad is gonna pick it up today and he's bringing it tomorrow and it will very slimly fit on the wall in my living room that I want it to go on so hopefully tomorrow we can play um, like some musical uh, pictures in my house and um, anyways it's massive it's 43 by 63 yeah what it's 43 by 63 which is absolutely gigantuan and um, yeah it's gonna take up an entire wall but I'm so excited um, the owner sent me the official uh, dimensions so that way I could you know like make sure they were the right like the I could figure out which wall it could go on can I help you what are you doing can mommy just finish recording and then we'll go hang out is that okay yeah okay okay Go for it. Go for it. Or not. All right. 
So, um, anyways, he sent me the official dimensions and he sent me like a preliminary photo. So I haven't seen it with the frame on, but so far it looks really good. So let's show you the parade of finishes. <laughs> um, and I'll try to keep collections together, but I don't know, I don't know how successful that's going to be. So we'll just see. Um, so the first one right on top is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries, um, Chinese Zodiac Sal. And I made this one into a pillow because that's what I did with the Clouds Factory Zodiac. Um, and I just did an orange fabric. See, I gotta fill, I gotta cover up the little slits. Um, so I finished my little pillows the same as McKenna. Um, I stitch all the way around, uh, outer sides together, and then I pull the fabric away, make a slit, stuff it, or flip it inside out, stuff it, um, and then uh, take a spray adhesive and cover up with a patch of the same fabric. So I just need to finish doing that part, but this is the Frosted Pumpkins Chinese Zodiac, and this was not a good idea to put this on there. There is little pillows everywhere. Um, this one just has a blue polka dot. It's a leftover scrap from my spring ABCs finish. But this is the, oh, uh, if I can remember the fabrics, I will. I do know this is a 14 count pictureless plus crystal, but I can't remember the name of the color, but it is a pink. Um, I cannot remember. I do know that if you look at my post whenever I was stitching this, I always put the hashtag PTP and then the fabric color name. So um, could look it up that way as well. I do know that this is a 32 count um, linen in Demi Wazelle by Picture This Plus. So this is one of the newer, I think it came out in 2019, but it was a light blue with like some pinks and yellows and stuff in it really pretty color, but this is Satsuma Street, Let's Stay Home. It was a freebie. It still is a freebie. Um, I believe you can still get it on her Facebook group. Um, and I changed the cat to a white cat for Potter. Let me go ahead and show these two little guys. So here we go. These are the first two finishes from the Red, White, and Bloom set from With Thy Needle and Thread, Bernard Gervais. Um, this is uh, the little sunflower, and this is the little queen lady standing in her garden. Um, and I just used a navy with little white polka dots. Yeah. I'm going to get these that taken care of this week, too, uh, this weekend as well. But anyways, super cute. I love that. Then I have this one. This is actually, the backing is a scrap from a quilt that I did in Civil War reprints. Uh, really cute. Um, oh yes, these are also the 16 count crystal confetti. Um, this is a 14 count picture this plus, and I wanna say this is sand. I wanna say this is sand. Oh, this actually, this might be Wren. This might be Wren. 99% sure this is run. Okay. Then we have this one. Again, I use the same Civil War print on this one. This is a Lizzie Kate. Um, I think it was, it was called Wise Men Still Seek Him. It was literally the title of what's on here. I did change up a lot of the colors, and this is on a 32 count picture this plus. Um, and I'm not very good at saying the name, but it starts with a C. Um, It starts with a C, uh, but it's like a dark goldeny yellow. Um, it's a heart. Like if I'm looking at it, I can say it, but um, I can't pronounce it without looking at it. <laughs> Anyways, it's a really cool fabric. have this little set finished. 
Okay, here we go. So this is another with thy needle and thread, Brenna Gervais. This is again on the 16 count Pictures Plus um, confetti. However, this one I did coffee tea dye. So you can see it's just a little bit more like mo uh, like muted. Um, but this is the Love Notes set. So this was the first one. And the fabric that I used, I just had a random, um, I had two fat quarters of this with a couple other fabrics. Um, and I was going to make a bag out of them, but then I never did because like I kind of fell out of love with the fabrics, but they were perfect for these little Valentine's Day pillows. So anyways, um, again, like I said, I got to fill in the patch of all of these, but cute little Valentine's Day pillow. Then there's also the Be Mine from the, from the set. The birds kind of get washed out with the ring light. There we go. Be Mine. Then we have the Cupid with the word love. And then we have this cute one. I'm trying to show it where it doesn't wash out as much because I did put on my ring light today so you can see the colors better. But the ones with a lot of white are hard to see whenever it <laughs> just washes out. So there's that one. Um, and then the cute little teacup one where she's drinking. I think it's supposed it's, it's supposed to be coffee, but um, I say it's tea. Um, and also it's supposed to say, I love you a latte down here. Um, but I typically don't put the words on the cups and things like that. I'm not into the whole Ray Dunn look. I know, I know a lot of you are, that's fine. We all have our preferences. Um, but I also just liked it plain because I drink a lot of tea. So I thought, oh, this one would be cute. Like I could leave this out whenever. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Um, okay, so this is a really fun one. Um, the back is a really pretty uh, batik fabric, and this is the front. So somebody asked me the fabric on this. They wanted to get this fabric. This is a scrap of a Fabrics by LJ. It's a 14 count. I can't even remember the name of it. Um, but he stopped selling fabric in like 2017, and so uh, I'll, I'll always say this if you like his fabric only way to get your hands on it is if somebody's de-stashing it, which I don't know anybody that de-stashes fabrics by LJ, but I could be wrong. Um, but yes, this is a hands-on design pattern. Uh, this is the, um, I was going to say the flamingo, but that's, that's one of the Christmas ornaments. It came out around the same time, but it's super cute. There's supposed to be a partial like alphabet on it and, um, I didn't want to do the alphabet so I just did the flamingos and I love it I love how the colors pop on this and I love the backing um, this might be one that I have to like recreate it would be a little bit different because I don't have any more of this fabric but I need to recreate this and make this for Jackie <laughs> she for her flamingo office Okay, let's show the last set of the With Thy Needle and Threads that are finished by Brenna Gervais. Um, and these I use some leftover. Um, this is the plaid that I used for my summer ABCs by um, Little House Needleworks, finished last year. So um, I thought that they were perfect for the Easter ones, especially with the tie-dye thread that I dyed that I used in every single pattern. So this is the one that spells out Easter, her cute little chicks. I think it was called like Penelope and Chicks or something like that. Um, but her cute little carrot balloon. I'm trying not to, there we go. I'm trying not to wash her out. Um, again, this is on the 16 count uh, picture this plus confetti. Uh, and I did not over dye this one. So this is the true color of it. And I love the sparkles. This is the Jelly Bean Garden from that set. There's seven in this set. So there's five in Love Notes, seven in the Easter set, and five in the Red, White, and Bloom set. So, super cute. This one where he's painting the eggs, so sweet. The Hip Hop, Hippity Hop Pop. <laughs> this one's also very, very, very cute. 
these little guys pulling their little carrot wagon and I love this little detail here um, it was so much fun to like figure out where to put the knots so that way um, it wouldn't pull through and still had like this like looseness um, to where it looks like 3d this one so sweet with her little bow I'm not great at tying bows so the fact that this looks remotely okay and we got some little bees on top and then this little guy this is the one that I did with Heather and Tiffany and this is a little cute little uh, chicka little chickadee pulling her little egg basket super 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 cute all right closing in we are closing in so the last two that I fully did this last weekend is this Lizzie Kate. Um, I Can Drive a Stick is the name of the pattern and this is on a Picture This Plus Crystal Mystic. Um, I did have a little bit more of this fabric but um, I threw it away because it was so hard for me to stitch on. Um, I'm not the biggest fan, I'm, okay, I'm a huge fan of crystal fabrics but my migraines are not a huge fan of stitching on them um, at, at least the, the lighter ones are okay. It's the darker ones. As much as I love the look, I love the look of this, but stitching it was absolutely painful. <laughs> um, but the finish is amazing. Uh, and I just paired it with a bright orange polka dot that I had. And I think it came out really cute. The last super small one. And then I have two more to show you that I finished. Um, I, I created them with the last grouping of pillows, but then I never stuffed them. And I think it's because I ran out of stuffing. Anyways, um, and then whenever I got a new bag, I forgot to fill them. So um, this one is the freebie that came with the Barbara Anna designs. Uh, if you bought, there was Mrs. Scissors, Mrs. Teapot, and Mrs. Coffee. Um, and if you bought at least two of them, then you got this as a freebie. And it's a cute little tomato pin cushion, cushion in a teacup. Um, and so I got this as a freebie because I had gotten Mrs. Scissors and Miss Teapot. And anyways, I absolutely love this. It came out fantastic. I changed up some of the colors. Again, this is on the same fabrics by LJ. It was another little scrap and I thought the colors would pop beautifully with it, uh, which it did. And so these are on the same fabric, uh, 14 count. And um, this is a cute little fat eighth that I found at the Montgomery Quilt Company. They only had one left, so um, whenever she gets so much to the end of the bolt, uh, she just cuts them in like to fat quarters and uh, fat eighths and stuff like that and sells them for like little tiny projects or like one-offs like this. And um, I saw this last time and I was like, oh, the colors, that would be perfect. So I snagged it for that. Okay, the last two, I finished stuffing them, not sewing them, but stuffing them was my Lizzie Kate um, green series, um, which I absolutely love. I didn't use any of the buttons. I actually, whenever I de-stashed it, I de-stashed it with the buttons. So hopefully that person used them. But anywhere there was supposed to be like a floral button or whatever, I just stitched the flowers instead. But there we go. And I used this really cool, it was from like a marble uh, fat quarter pack. Okay, so the final one is this one, um, and this is Picture This Plus 32 count. This might actually be sand. The other one is definitely Wren. Um, this is on a Lugana. This pattern is by Lindy Stitches. This was her first uh, Linton piece that she did in 2020, and she came out with one for 2021, but I have not stitched it yet. Um, and this is on another fabric from that marble collection um, that I had. So that's everything um, that I have been working on this week. Everything that's going on. Um, this next week, like I said, the pillows are going to get their little patch. Because there's a lot of patches to do. This is going to get put together um, like 99% sure that I might just do that today. Um, we're going to finish up the Red, Right, and Bloom smalls. And yeah, I'm going to get more work done on my One Nation. Uh, then I also want to get some work done on my Lady Liberty. Lady of the Flag. <laughs> 
Um, and I don't know. I also, like I said, I really want to start going through each room and like super deep cleaning and decluttering. And I'm going to start with my bathrooms because also <clears throat> I'm going to do like paint touch-ups and stuff while I do it. And so I have to start with my hall bathroom because I need to just get that done. So um, maybe that's what I'll do on Monday is work on painting my bathroom because my dad is coming up tomorrow. So um, anyways, I'm just enjoying the long weekend and... Um, with studying and taking a class and all that kind of stuff, I may not be able to stitch as much for the next upcoming little while. Um, and that is life. But I will still be here every Friday or Saturday, depending on what's going on. Um, I don't, I try not to miss Fridays, uh, but I just, I was going to record after I got home yesterday, but I kind of, witnessed a tragic accident on the road um, involving an animal and I did not feel like it was a good time for me to record a video. So um, anyways, I will see y'all next week. I hope that y'all are having a fantastic weekend and yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye guys.